In this video, we take a look at how to create a trifold obituary cover like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hey everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for coming back. So here are the resources that I'll be using in this video. Some of these resources are from the first obituary that I created. A link to check that video will be in the description and on top of the card and if you want to download this i'll put a link also in the description download it practice and send me your outcome on instagram now let's get into photoshop and let's get started all right so here in photoshop i'm doing this in photoshop cc 2019 you, you can do it in any version so what we do is we first set our background or we first set the project that we are going to use so we go to print and we're going to select a4 here and that is going to give us the sizes over here now once you're done you go ahead and you click on create now it is going to open this kind of document for you but we don't want it in a portrait form so let's try to rotate it to do that go to image image rotation and then clockwise or anti-clockwise and now you have your document in a landscape form to create a trifold cover you need to divide your paper into three equal sizes and this whole paper is in percentage 100 percent so if you are to divide this into three equal sections that is going to be 100 percent divided by three so that is going to give you 33.3 so let's go to view let's try to add a new guideline here let's type 33.3 and don't forget to add your percentage because if you don't photoshop is going to treat it as an inch or let's say this is measured in millimeters so add the percentage so that it is going to add that for you and then you click on ok so it gives you your first guideline now you're going to multiply or you're going to add another 33.3 to it to get the second guideline so we go to view new guide and we're going to type 66.6 percent here and we click on ok so this divides the page into three core sections for you and that is where we're going to start with our design so let's start with the background the first thing we're going to do is we go and pick a rectangle tool over here so we're going to create a rectangle about this size so somewhere around here i'm going to double click on the layer thumbnail here and i'm going to select any color for it so this is the color that i am using so i'll paste my color and then i'll click ok you can bring it down a little bit if you want to so after we do this we want to bring in something like a pattern so when you go to the resource i have this pattern that i got from the internet and we drag and drop that inside of photoshop so on top of this shape that we've created we're going to bring it right over here now what we want to do is we want to make this pattern fit right inside of the shape that we, we've created so we're going to right click and we're going to create a clipping mask so it fits right inside of the shape that we've created so let's right click on this one and rasterize the layer go to the blending option and let's try to play around with the blending option so i think soft light works very fine for me and then i can reduce the opacity a little bit so that you can see the pattern right inside of the shape that you created and that is it so the next thing we want to do for the background is we have a condolence background over here so let's drag and drop that inside of photoshop as well and since the top is already white let's try and keep the same thing so we're just going to resize it like this right click on it and flip it horizontally so we want to make sure that the part that is cut off is actually inside the document so we have this one over here this is going to serve as our background so we can select all of this press ctrl g and we can group this and call it the background all right so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set the first foreground or the front page and we're going to use the right side of this particular trifold as the foreground or the front page so what we're going to do is we're going to create the front page over here and to do that the first thing we do is we pick our rectangle tool again and we're going to create a very simple small rectangle like this now you can go ahead and give it any color at all so let's maintain this color press ctrl j to make a duplicate press ctrl t and then you can transform it a little bit like that 
let's change that particular one the color to white and what we're going to do is we're going to try to make sure that it is positioned in the middle like this so you can have something you can actually use stroke to do this if you don't want to find yourself in any problem so once we have this we can go ahead and bring in our image and then i'll be using an image of my grandpa i use the same image in the first obituary that we created so you bring him inside of photoshop right over here and then what you're going to do is you're going to right click and create a clipping mask so it's going to fit right inside of the rectangle underneath of it and then you can press ctrl t and transform your image to look very nice like that once you have this you can then go ahead and add the name of the deceased person the date and then the location for the funeral so to do that we are going to use a font called trajan pro so let's select a test and then go for the font called trajan pro so i'll leave links to download the font also in the description so we're going to type the name here let's select the test color and give it a white test over here so let's test the name you type the name like that and then you're going to take your time to position it so something like that press ctrl t and you can transform it a little bit so something like this and make sure that you have it right in the middle so right from here we can make a duplicate ctrl j bring it underneath of this one and then we can select all of that i've already made my test over here and we have the date the sunrise that is the date of birth and then the date of death i intentionally left it 16th april today because uh, today is the day that i'm recording the video okay so you use the actual date of the deceased person and then you can take your time to reposition it afterwards you make another duplicate ctrl j and then you can bring it at the very bottom and you can go back to your test we have this direction or the location and then you can select all of the tests here and then you can paste it so we're going to change the font from this portion we're going to use poppins okay and then we're going to use poppins let's try with the regular here the regular looks good and we're going to decrease the size the font size so that it can look very nice and clean over there and on top of all of that we need a uh, in loving memory of so let's add one more test over here let's use a font called alora so this is the font that we're going to use for the very top part let's change the color back to black and click ok and then we can type in here in loving memory of something like that now let's select all of that and increase so you can bring your keza here and as you drag it on top it will increase the font size for you open the toggle character over here and close the leading a little bit like this and afterwards you can just take your time and position it and make sure that it is found in the middle and you can increase the size if this feels like it is too small for you and that is going to serve as our front page so we can select all of this one select the rectangle here by holding shift press ctrl g and then we can group this one to front page now once we're done with the front page we're going to use the middle page here as the actual background or the back page so what we're going to do is we're going to put some information at this point the first one we're going to add is this vintage file that i got from the internet so i'll drag and drop that inside of photoshop you take your time to transform it to be a little bit smaller like this now you can use ctrl a to center it so something like that and then you can position it on top here we are going to add a test so we're going to pick the test tool here but instead of creating or left clicking to bring you the test what we're going to do is we're going to left click and hold it to create what we call a test box this is going to help us to work with something like the paragraphing and everything now let's go back to the font family and pick poppins for here for this one all right so we're going to use the poppins medium section and inside of our test we have this test here since we are still in covid we are going to try to man maintain all the covid protocols so let's select all of it and try to reduce it or let's try to decrease the font size and go back to the toggle character over here and decrease the leading as well so this is what we have and then you can go ahead and click ok 
and OK from here. Now you can press Ctrl E and make sure that you've centered this horizontally, so something like this. And then you can go ahead and change this one to, let's say something like regular. Let's use the regular. This looks good. And that'll be it for the test. So we make another duplicate of the vintage file that we got here, so Ctrl J. And then we're going to press Ctrl T, right click on it and flip it vertically. And we're going to bring it down over here, right click on this one rasterize the layer right click again and go to the blending options and this time around we're going to change the color overlay that is the color that we have on this we're going to change that to white so we click ok and then ok now we make another duplicate of the test here drag it to the very bottom part like this select all of it and go into our resource or our test and this is what we have you can copy that and paste it right over here so you select all of this one change the color to white and then you can click ok and then you can bring this to the very bottom of your work so let's try to make it align with this one for instance so right there and that'll be it for the back page on this one it actually shows that it is in the middle okay so we can select all of these ones select the first one here hold shift and then select the last one and then you can press ctrl g group this one and call it the back page i just realized that i wrote front page so front page right over here all right so once we're done the last section here we're going to use that for the family gallery or what we call the image section okay so to do that it depends on the number of pictures that you have you might want to use circles or rectangles or any other thing but in this case we're going to use the rectangle so let's pick the rectangle tool from here and then we're going to create a rectangle it depends again on the number of images that you have at your disposal so let me create this rectangle for instance you can give it any color let's give it a color like this and click ok and let's press ctrl j to make another duplicate so something like this and we can select the two of them press ctrl t and transform it a little bit like this so that we can take time and position it you don't leave it at the very edge of it because you need some white space over there okay so once you're done with this you can take time to make more duplicates depending on how many pictures you are having so you press ctrl j and then you make a duplicate like that you can then select all of them and then press ctrl j again and then you can make a duplicate like this quite simple right so afterwards you can then go back to the first one hold shift and then select the last one press ctrl g and then you're going to group that press ctrl a and then you're going to center this vertically so the next thing is we're going to insert our images and for the images i got these images of deceased people i'm just using these images for educational purpose so to insert the images it is very simple all that you need to do is you open your groups over here and then you're going to select the rectangle the particular rectangle so for instance this one and we're going to bring in the image on top of that so let's go into the image here we have the first image drag and drop that image inside of photoshop and then you place it over here so what you do is you right click and create a clipping mask press ctrl t and then transform it very nicely until it fits right inside of the rectangle or the shape that you created so something like this and then you can double click on it let me do another one for you so you right click and select the rectangle go inside of your resource and then drag and drop the image inside of photoshop make sure that it is on top of the rectangle that you want to clip mask it into it so you double click on this one right click and create a clipping mask take your time to move it around press ctrl c and then you can resize the image and you make sure that it fits into the rectangle that you created so something like this and then you can leave it over there it's that very simple so i'm going to take my time to do the rest of the images and then i'll catch you on the other side And yes so this is what we have so we can then call this one the family gallery or the gallery okay let's give it gallery so when you turn this one off this is what you have and you have your middle section and then you have your front 
page as well and at this point if you are doing it for personal reasons that'll be pretty much it for this one but for my fellow graphic designers who need to present this work you can actually create the kind of the trifold mock-up and this is how you do it so we want it on top of the background here so let's create a new document here and what we're going to use is we're going to use the rectangular marker tool here we're going to make a selection of this portion so something like that now go for your gradient tool here go inside the gradient bar you find this transparent gradient choose that and make sure that you have your color set black and click ok and then ok if possible try to make sure that your foreground color is also black because it uses the foreground color sometimes now after you're done just hold shift and create a gradient over here so this is what you're going to have now when you press ctrl h it is going to hide your guidelines for you and then you can take your time to reduce the opacity here so that you can see this kind of line over there now let's bring back the guidelines so ctrl h to bring it back and let's make a duplicate so ctrl j and drag it to the very edge of the second grid line over here so when we press ctrl h this is exactly what you have and yes that will be it for this video i hope this was helpful if it was please share this video to others so that they can also come and learn photoshop for free don't forget to also check out the other videos that i've done already i'll leave links in the description thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye